Hey, you chickadees. I'm Lee Rooster, and you're in the hen house. We've got the treasury popping out here on the 15th. This is March 15th, and uh, probably the prelude to the St. Patrick's Day festivities in Star Trek Fleet Command. And uh, this day was notably absent on the calendar, and we were hearing from those in the know that uh, we were going to get a surprise uh, because of some of the backlash uh, about the treasury building and its fabled tax that uh, everyone felt more aligned with Robin Hood than with the rich folks. Uh, apparently, you know, that part got rolled back so it made it a little more clear that the surprise event was actually the release of the treasury. But let's break down this new mechanic. There are a lot of positive things in the free-to-play side. There's also some uh, free-to-pay side or uh, pay-to-play side stuff as well. So we'll talk about some of the differences and talk about what you can expect from this new and improved uh, treasury building. Improved because of your feedback to Scopely and props to Scopely for at least listening to that part and taking out what would have been a real negative. So I uh, want to point out here, this is my um, always Forever 14 account on here. And uh, one, the treasury is available to players level 15 and above. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if it is this building, if you log in and you're above level 14 um, and you see this building, that is a sign that you have not taken the update for Android and iOS. It's out on both of those platforms, as well as the PC app. I've already unlocked it on my main account, on the, but when I logged in with the PC without it, uh, it reverts back to this building. So that'll be the first sign that you don't have what uh, what you need. So make sure you go and get those updates. All right, let's, uh, through the magic here of, of the internet, let's look. Boom. This is what the treasury will look like when you actually have it. Uh, once you started to build it. Uh, people are talking about how it clashes. It's a little garish. I think it uh, it's really a throwback from like Logan's Run in the 70s movie and all that. It is garish. And again, in light of it's kind of ugly and I kind of like it just like the amalgam. Uh, so let me know down below your thoughts about that. Uh, so this is the treasury and this is what it looks like once you start getting it built. Now, people have been asking, we've been talking in the Alliance about how do I build this? Okay, go into your gift section. In here, you will have a gift to the left that is a treasury starter gift. I've already claimed mine because I started building it. Once you do that, you're going to get a little token that allows you to build it. That's like how we built the Exocomp building, if you remember this. And this building functions a lot like the Exocomp building. You um, you get a free key to build it, um, and it nicely doesn't take many resources um, of sorts. Um, but let's talk about that. So um, also... So if we look at the treasury, first, first before we dig into it, let's look at the drive up movie theater billboard, which is where you get all your news in game. All right. And the release notes that talk about this coming, the treasury here. So let's let's talk, obviously, introducing the treasury. New feature can be unlocked at ops level 15, like I said before. By unlocking it, you gain access to the Ferengi treasury. You fill the treasure by fully completing your daily goals and defeating hostiles. Once the treasury is full, you can open the lockbox. More on that um, by purchasing purchasing a de sealing rod from the store. Yes, use your rods to open the box. That's what it's saying. In addition to access to the treasury, the building itself also provides three buffs. Now this is here. This is a big deal for um, free to play for everybody at level fifteen and above who can build this, and it does not take much to build it at level fifteen uh, and, and move it on up. You'll see we are going to get increased mining rate increased max cargo, and increased protected cargo for all your ships. All right, upgrading the building provides significant increases to these benefits, and uh, boy howdy, it does. Um, so those are free buffs for everybody, and these are these are the kind of things that help us every day, let alone mining Mondays, but they're going to help us with all kinds of dailies and our mining stuff. Um, and uh, we got even more to come with those Triskelion photon torpedoes with more protected cargo, so... Um, Lots of protected cargo. Going to make it a little harder to pirate OPC with all of these things going around. Um, I guess we'll have to resort to more base rating with our amalgams. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Players who unlock the treasury will receive a daily trickle of optical di diodes, the currency used to upgrade the building. This is also found when you open lockboxes and purchasing building-specific IAPs. If you're wondering what IAP, in-app purchases, all right, meaning spending money in the store, because this comes up. This is part of the pay-to-play or free-to-pay um, uh, kind of uh, mechanic that is in there. In addition, players who reach building level 40, obviously you're going to need to be ops level 40 to have building level 40, and haven't researched prime damage versus players, prime protected cargo, and prime capture node damage in the territory research tree. So three primes that are in the territory side. You will also receive a small amount of prime particles along with their daily optical diode trickle. 
Um, what this means is once you get once you get to level forty, you will start getting uh, from your daily uh, daily gift section. You'll start getting the currency for prime particles that will help you to unlock these three primes for free. So that that's three primes. They're hundred dollars a pop, and you can get them for free. But you have to wait to start grinding on them at level forty, which means it does give some pathway of things to do in the higher levels as you push on, which is kind of cool. But it's a nice way to know that you don't have to buy them if you can wait all that time. And we'll see how long it takes to actually grind those out. They will have five more missions that are going to uh, include Kath. Um, as she is doing her independent operator and it'll focus on the treasury to kind of launch and celebrate that. There's a, a treasury frame. They did some bug fixes again. Uh, shout outs to Scopely for fixing bugs because there's God knows we got enough of them, but thank God they're trying to fix them. Um, so there's the, the famous ship components that weren't showing shows not enough resources error, even when it looks like you do because of the way the researches and uh, reductions were affecting it. That is supposed to be fixed. Leave feedback below if it's not, or if it is. And then they fixed an issue on iOS where the push notifications were not sent. I've been trying to enable them on my phone and my iPad forever, and apparently um, they don't work. Supposedly it's fixed. Let's see. I'm not going to leave my base unshielded to find out if I get a notification about being raided. Uh, but it sure would be nice to know about Armadas again. Um, so that would be good. Some other stuff in there that comes on, so good bugs. Let's look at the treasury itself. Okay, so... Here's my treasury. I got it up to level six this morning. It is taking look. Notice that it takes par steel and par steel only. This is the whole way plus these um, optical diodes. Get opening treasury lockboxes and the daily claim in the store. So you know, first you hear the store. Sometimes I'm like, are they saying to pay? No, it's right here. Upgrade the treasury. So I collected mine. I got a small number based on, I think, the level of my uh, treasury. And you'll collect this. You'll need to collect this every day, just like your syndicate chests and your tetrions when you have them to build them up, your your warp, <laughs> your Borg tokens, different things like that that you need to start stockpiling. So um, that's going to that's gonna slow you down unless, of course, you're paying for a pack that gives you more uh, to get in there. Um, let's see. If we look at the treasury... It has a nice intro screen when you first open it up, so it'll tell you some stuff about it. But we go into the details. Um, it talks about increased mining speed, protect the cargo of survey ships, and increases the cargo capacity of all ships. So we will have to see, is it all ship? Is it only survey ships that get protected cargo? I mean, that's fine for me because those are the ones that I need it on. Um, but, you know, some of the wording is a little different in the other part. Um, and then when we get to 40, you have that. Notice the, the middle paragraph is the one about the fab fabled tax. Check my previous um, video about the tax that allowed the rich to keep eating off the poor. Um, and so that got removed. You know, go Robin Hood. All right. And you can really just see some of the level uh, increases at mining, protect your cargo, cargo capacity to two and one. And, you know, it's just as we start going up, let's say, you know, people are going to take it to 15 pretty quickly. Um, you know, folks being level 15. And higher, thirty percent mining speed, car, protected cargo, cargo capacity, fifteen percent. So those are going to be nice free-to-play pieces. Now, if we hit the treasury button, we get in a little bit more, and it gives us, you know, again, cute little treasury things. This looks a little Star Wars, though, I must say. Um, and it says there's no treasury event running at the moment. Check back later for future investment opportunities. So uh, we go in here, um, and let's get some information about the mechanics. When the treasury is active, you can fill it by killing hostile enemies and completing your daily goals. Once the treasury is full, there will be a lockbox of rewards that can be opened. The lockbox will require one de-sealing rod to open it. De-sealing rods are available for only a limited time in the store after your treasury has been filled, so you will have to move swiftly. Okay, this is a little confusing. What are they saying? All right, we're going to have events, probably repeating events um, that are going to last for a little while where we can do our dailies and various tasks. It'll be like a task list from the treasury that tells us what to do in order to chip away at that. You know, maybe, and I'm hoping this includes things that we need to do in the game anyway, but don't get rewarded for from our dailies, like hunting board probes, killing Stella, Stella traders, um, mining data, the different things that you need to do every day or every week uh, several times in order to get that plus your daily activities is going to be chipping away at filling up the treasury. So if you grind enough, it'll get full. It'll fill this lockbox. When you're in this event, the lockbox can be filled. The lockbox is going to have something. I'm sure it's going to be level dependent and scale up. And then hopefully, well, the truth is you'll be able to see. It better be stuff that's worth it. I, in the pictures that we've seen, it showed uh, pictures of uh, 
materials like ore, gas, and crystal, as well as par steel, tritanium, dilithium, and latinum in the pictures. Um, so I would expect those types of components, the kinds of things we want, um, possibly something else, plus they mentioned diodes. So we'll see exactly what's in there. So it gets full, and then you're going to have to pay for a rod to unlock it. So that is pay in-app purchase through the store. Okay. Um, so that does mean that you're going to, you can't get this for free. Will that change? Maybe. Maybe there'll be a way to grind for it. Maybe it'll be included in some battle passes. Maybe we'll be able to get them occasionally. But in general, I'm hearing something like from $5 to $100, depending on things, probably with levels and how much you're getting. So you'll have to see when you fill up these lockboxes during the event, is it worth the price to get what it's, what's there? Now, since we can see what it is, and uh, we'll also see if it's worth grinding for. That's going to give you some real options. If you're like, maybe I feel like paying if the rod doesn't cost that much. Maybe I want those resources. But we'll have an option here. But that's definitely a free to play. And I, sh I should say free to pay, pay to play type of mechanic that's there. But even if you don't participate in that, you still get all the cool benefits from the treasury itself with the cargo and the protected cargo and the mining speed and things like that. So that is, a, I think, a big thing and a nice thing that they've got in there. And no tax on the poor, which is cool. So that is your treasury, and you can just keep building that up. Um, and again, to build these up, you're going to have to collect these optical diodes. So keep checking on those every 20 two hours or what have you, so that you make sure you get them along with your syndicate chest. There's your reminder for both, check both of those. Anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts. Is it better this way? Does this, uh, what do you think about having some uh, stuff that is available to all people and some that is only optional for pay? Um, thoughts below in the comments, please. That really helps. Also make sure you like, that's a thumbs up. Get that notification bell and subscribe. We're pushing, we're well over 550 subscribers at this point, and that's all thanks to you. I really can use any of you who are not subscribed to go ahead and do that so you can keep getting these news and my live streams on Sundays, as well as check out down below in the description for the link to my Twitch streams, which are every night Pacific time after work and throughout the weekends and the Discord server. I hope to see you there. Thanks a lot. Cock-a-doodle-doo.